Well, here we are at the shop. It is a shop day. We are here, we are going through boxes. We are preparing for the new lighting. We're actually getting new lighting in the back. We have flooring coming in next week. I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the back now that all the construction is done. And we are on the final stages. Um, but yeah, we're here at the shop today, so let's get to it. All right, so heading into the back, Walter is taking a good snooze. They're waiting for the mailman. Oops, the light switch is here. Are you filming sleeping nappy time? Yeah, I, I was filming sleeping nappy time. <laughs> um, <laughs> so here is the back. It's a little bit different from the last time you guys saw it. We have this new beautiful light here, and we've decided that we're going to replace all of the lights. The like nice LEDs that arrived damaged. They arrived damaged. We just got the email that they arrived damaged, so I'm not sure what that means. Obviously, we well, don't we have to cover. Okay. Um, so we are waiting on flooring. Flooring is next. We got an estimate on that. So they're going to be putting flooring in probably next week or so, right? Yes. Yes. Um, and we have to get the walls painted, which I'm thinking of a light gray because the flooring is gonna be kind of a light gray plank. Yeah, so basically the carpet's gonna run from here over. Okay. And then you'll have hardwood floor from here over and in your office. Okay. And then mine's going to have carpet. So it's pretty much done in here. Um, I'm planning on doing that wall back there black <laughs> because I'm going to have my studio desk here and so the backdrop is going to be black. And I'm, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to have shelving behind me or not. That kind of seems to be all the rage right now, but I just, I'm, I'm undecided. Oh, I'm totally setting up those three massive bookshelves and putting books on them back here somehow. Oh, are you? Oh, they're getting, oh, those things are awesome. <laughs> all right then. Um, so we'll figure that out, but they framed out my window. Got it all framed out nice. Oh, I love it. Um, so yeah, uh, new, new ceilings new ceilings, but this is it. Uh, my dad is actually going to be installing the doors here. So on either side of these doors, obviously, is the bathroom. Eventually, we are going to have a second access point through this wall into um, the main floor. But for now, this is the secondary access. And these are all Andrew's boxes. <laughs> So those are Andrew's boxes. Um, this is where our new employee is going to be set up. So I have to get all of that moved out. Andrew's actually gonna be working on that this week. He's gonna be moving all of this out. But these are all of his boxes that I've piled in the corner for him. Those are the shelves he was talking about. We purchased those um, last week or the week before at auction for less than $100 a piece. And they are actually really nice. The mannequins are still naked. I don't know what to say about that other than point out the obvious. And um, the couch. The couch is finally going to have its home in the back and it's gonna be out of here. So we're gonna have some space back, which will be really nice. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to have the space back. Um, yeah, that's kind of, kind of the rundown. Now I am gonna show you guys on the other side because a lot of people are like, well, where do you do all your shipping? Where do you put the stuff that's listed? I've shown it a few times and um, I guess I'll show it again. Over here on the other side of the wall, these are all of our boxes. We store all of our box sizes here. We got 12, 10, five. We've got 10, 10, 10, 16, 16, 16 all of the box sizes and it looks like we're actually due for another box delivery here because normally these skids are completely full and um, they're looking a little sparse right now. Over here is where all the metal detecting gear lives. Andrew actually all has, has it all packed right now in the van because he did a show this weekend so he took it all out and now he's got to put it all back. So this is all metal detecting right here. Um, back here is all the banana boxes. These are the empties. At one point we had over 150 banana boxes and we built a box fort. But as you can see, the pile is dwindling. <laughs> and then we've got the listed stuff. All of the lovely lists. So everything on the shelf is listed or scheduled. And this is uh, where Walter works. So once it's listed or it's scheduled, it goes under the shelf and he pulls the items off of the shelf. 
he lists them over here. He's got boxes down there and uh, he's got bubble wrap down at the end. This is his computer where he works at and this is where it happens. So yeah, this is where things get, get done. So there you go. There you have it. Isn't that exciting? You guys get to see our whole operation. Um, these are the boxes I've been going through this pile. I don't know if you saw before, but it used to be like this high. And I've been going through all these boxes, sorting everything for our parking lot sale. Um, because we are going to be having a parking lot sale. It's just an, a matter of picking a date for that. What happened to my lights? All the lenses are cracked. So what does that mean? That means they are either going to do one of two things. They're either going to send them back and get us new ones, or they're going to see if they have other ones in other stores that they can have transferred in, but it's still going to be a couple days. And it's already been a week. And they don't have to pay for their mess up. Uh, we don't have to. I'm not paying any additional. I got news for them. They better not. They so I did tell him that they, if they had something that was 2 by 4 LED, in stock that they would be willing to substitute it with, um, I would take a substitution. I only bought them. I only bought them based on price, so they were sixty-five bucks a piece. Okay. So, and then the next step up was like eighty-nine dollars a piece. Okay, give me them eighty-nine dollar ones a piece. Whatever. We'll figure it out. He's gonna call me back shortly. Okay. Um, so we've got boxes here. This was a recent um, auction, but we've still got the boxes back there to go through. So um, I think we're going to dig through those boxes today. I got to get clothes for her. I got to figure something out. Give me a minute. And give her a fist. A fist? Like she's punching someone? There you go. Now she's dressed. Ta-da! There we go. Oh, I feel better about that. We just need to find her a hat. I'm sure we have a hat around here somewhere. Actually, I think I have a hat over this way. There we go. That'll work. All right. Now I can finally work over here underneath all these limbs. Look at that. I knew there was some more mugsies back here. Oh my, look at that. Flirty Gertie. Gertie does look a little bit flirty. I also got these. I thought these were pretty cool. They're real colorful. And I think that's why I like them so much. Look at those. I'm surprised they're not signed anywhere to be honest, but I almost wonder if they're signed underneath the matting. If the matting is maybe co covering up the signature because you can see his feet don't go all the way down. But I thought those were really neat, so I got those as well. Um, these in here. Ironstone China. Can't remember who makes these. But they've got those dragon handles. I'm pretty sure that Michael had one of these in his live sale not that long ago. And I was actually bidding on it. And uh, look at that. There was a pair of them. Look at that face. <laughs> Those are really cool. Um, there is a large one here. This is a uh, Nippon, maybe? Hand-painted Nippon. There's a pitcher. I think I got the pitcher and the two, the two little pitchers together. Oh, there we go. No, there's no mark. It just says ironstone china on the bottom. And I sure do like those. I'm going to pull all of these mugsies out and give you guys a peek before I take them over and set them over there with Dina. So there you go. <laughs> Who's this? This is um, Cockeyed Charlie. Oh my gosh, these are so much fun. Now they don't have like a terribly high resale value. Um, I think they're usually between $30 and $45 just for the regular mugs. I'm sure there are some that are worth more than others, but just as a as a general average, that seems to be where they fall. And um, is this the Pickled Pete? It is Pickled Pete. <laughs> 
Oh, those are fun. So I've got all these here, and then I also had a second box that I didn't really show on camera, but I already brought that over um, for her to go through. So these will probably get listed pretty quickly since we already had one whole round of the Muggsy pieces go through eBay. So they're just so similar, so similar, so similar. So let's get these over to Dina. Okay, well in this box, we have the purses. And I was really super excited about these purses. All I had to go on were some photos. And um, I did take a moment to pop these open. And they are marked on the inside. This one, guys, I'm not gonna be able to read that. It looks like man and something manufacturing company is what I'm gonna assume it says right there. Um, but I loved the mesh design on that. I thought it was fantastic. This one, I'm having a hard time figuring out what that is. It's a design of some sort. Let's put it against the wall. Nope, still not really seeing much. But the inside actually has the little tag there that says Whiting and Davis. So that's pretty exciting. I was hoping that maybe they would be Whiting and Davis. And it is Whiting and Davis. And lastly, this little Whiting and Davis bag. So we've got two Whiting and Davis and the third one, which I don't recognize the name. We've also got a bunch more salt and pepper shakers in here. Um, these are Holt Howard. You can see the HH Japan. All right, so I am pulling stuff out of the box here and I just pulled this out. I didn't realize that this was cloisonne. I had thought that this was glass when I was bidding on it, but it turns out it's this beautiful cloisonne. And um, that's just amazing. I thought it was glass. I was like, oh, look at that pretty painted glass. It is not glass. I kind of really like it. That's nice. We also have this picture. It reminds me of McCoy. I'm not sure if that's what it is, but it's got all these geese or ducks around the outside. And over here we have these little Limoges plates. And I think that these were extras. I'm almost certain that these were extras. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. That one stands like that, I guess. So we've got these little plates. They were probably extras in a lot because I don't recall those. And of course we've got the cardinal here. Oh, here is the bleak. I can't remember if the damage was to the teapot or if it was to the creamer and sugar. But I purchased the set because just by itself, the teapot could sell independently and make a profit. And so I bought the entire set knowing that I think the creamer or sugar was damaged. And I knew that I could sell the teapot by itself and make a profit. Purses. And that reminds me that we have a beautiful purse sitting over here. It was never listed. So wait, I'm filming. Wait. The lady found me new lights. Yeah. And they're cheaper. Okay. So she's canceling the order we have in. Okay. I'm ordering the new ones. Okay. They already have them in stock. Okay. And I can swing over there this evening and pick them up. Sweet. That's exciting. There we go. Problem solved. That's awesome. Here is the peacock purse. So I have permission to post that picture on my Facebook because that's very hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Wh which one? Oh, this one, me with our new employee. <laughs> yes, you may post it. <laughs> she's not very productive. Let she's me not. Tell she you. just stains there all day. But at least now she's clothed. <laughs> all right, well, we are going to continue digging through these boxes because. This, this is right where the new employee is going to be. And so we just kind of have to make a little bit of space for her. That's going to be her um, shelving unit back there, that big metal shelving unit. It'll be perfect. Everything she needs, she can store in there. Um, so here we go. Let's see what we've got here. I was super excited about this because it reminded me of the um, lacquer and mother of pearl furniture that we got the korean furniture 
And so I just thought that was beautiful. And I did look up comps on these and they sell for upwards of $100. And so I just thought that that was fantastic. Especially since it's in such good condition. Look at that. It's beautiful. Is it signed? I don't see any signatures. Look, there's something on the inside. I don't know if that's in Korean. That's really nice. Very pretty. What else do we have in here? Oh, we've got a fairy light. I forgot I did a fairy light. Fairy light. We've got some more green stuff. I know you guys love the Fenton Lime. We've got lots of Fenton Lime. Well, I was about to ditch this box because I thought it was empty and I realized, wait, no, there's a platter in the bottom. And it's not just any platter, it's a fairy platter. That's why I bought this platter is because it had fairies on it. And I believe it actually has some age to it. Look here on the back. It's got a mark. It's a little confusing because it seems to have a mark on top of a mark, but then it's got some over there too. So this was just really cool. Because it had fairies. And I was like, you know what? Everybody loves fairies, right? And they're really cute. Got fans and mirrors. That was a really interesting tray. It's a little bit awkward, so it's probably going to be a little bit spendy to ship. But it's really neat with the perfume there. I believe this is, I would say this is probably a vanity tray. Judging by the, the, the perfume there and the mirror. It's probably a vanity tray. That's really neat. Well, we are going to dig through this last and final box. I feel like we made a little bit of progress today. I've still got that giant pile over there behind all the uh, hands and arms and all of that. But we will jump into that, I think, in a few days and get through that pile. But let's get through here. We've got a swung glass vase, a little bud vase here. We're going to set it back here. Flat surfaces around here usually get cluttered pretty quickly, if you hadn't noticed. This is a plate. Okay. Ooh, here is the teapot. Zamara. Oh, I like that. Oh, there's the bird. Is it signed? I was hoping it was signed. It's actually not signed. That is surprising. I thought for sure that little guy would be signed. He's got some nice detail on him. Hmm. Oh well, I like them. Here we go. Ooh, that's really nice. I think that is the reason we ended up with that blue plate. It's because I was going after this guy. sugar bowl here. Looks like it's seen better days. It is a sea leaf by Wedgwood. It's not terrible, but see here it does have a chip there. It's got some discoloration. Some cracking. I set it back here. Here is our lid. I mean, it's got some age to it, but it's still nice. Oh, there is our wedding dish. Let's see if it works. I mean, why wouldn't it work? There you go. 
right on top of the lid. And there we go. I gotta find some clothes for her. All right, well, was that it? Are we done? Should we shaky? Fancy. Oh, there's the clock. Okay, wait. I know I said I was gonna be done now, but look at this clock. Oh my gosh. It is Sirocco wood, so it is a composite. But I saw this and I was like, how did I miss that? Because I had all my notes on the auction and then this was counting down. And I was like, oh my gosh. Look at that. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. I don't even know if it works. Look at it. What's that? Look at the clock. That's cool. You're like, it's yeah, I know, I packed it. Yeah, <sighs> yeah it's a clock. You want to see it? It's really cool. You'll appreciate it. Andrew's just like, whatever. <laughs> It's all wood, all carved. It's Sirocco, <gasps> so it's pressed. It's so pretty cool. I like it. Oh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> I don't it's know if really it works cool. though. Well, I will test it. Okay, how do we do that? <laughs> Maybe you have a key in that magical desk of yours. <laughs> <laughs> I've, everything else you're like, oh, I've got one of those. I've got one of those. Oh, it just so happens I have the key to wind this clock right here in my desk. I do have magic on drawer. <laughs> All departments. Clock key. Look at that. <gasps> you need one of those for your <laughs> magical desk. I do. Yeah, I look at that. Let's put it on the list. Okie dokie. And then give it to Andrew to order. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew, here's some more stuff. And these are the boxes that I was going through earlier and I pulled all of the paper out so that there wouldn't be any crinkling at all for you guys. And then I didn't even go through these boxes today so that was kind of a waste of my time. But it doesn't matter. We have some birds here. That's a turtle. <laughs> oh, you're on your A-game. Oh boy. We've got some birds here and a turtle. <laughs> oh boy. I don't believe that these ones are Murano, but they were still birds and I decided to buy them. I especially like this one because it had the Millefiore, but you can see there are bubbles inside, so that's usually a pretty good indicator that it's not the quality of Murano, but still quite nice. Got these guys here. This one. And I wasn't really sure about this one or this one. This green one. Those two I wasn't really sure of. Uh, the turtle, I believe, is probably made in China. Oh, it's got a sticker. Maybe that's just tape. I don't think there's anything on there. We've got this bird down here. He's also got a little bit of Millefiori in there, but you can see he's got a cloudy bottom. And then we've got lots of gobbles. <laughs> lots of them. Clown gobbles, even. Oh, this is a little clown. Starting them young. We've got all these gobbles. This is another little clown child in the spotlight. Lots of figurines. I think Andrew was bidding on the figurines because I even asked him, where did these come from? He is responsible for this. We've got piano babies. This one appears to be Japan. The German one was right here. This little guy is likely German, just by the features. He's got really detailed features as opposed to the Japanese versions. Now he is not marked, but you can see if you look at these guys, their features just are not as detailed as the German babies. Ooh, it makes me nervous not to have these wrapped. Um, this one back here, was this one German or Japan? I think this one also is also Japan, but I think there was damage on a few, maybe just one of them had damage. 
We've also got this giant cat and this giant bird where you can stash stuff. <laughs> Anything you want. I hear you giggling over there. Look at this little butt hanging out. Um, this was a Tantalus set. Kind of a nice one. I noticed that one of the stoppers was a, um, a satin glass. It was like a tumbled, so that was interesting. Oh, watch, watch his beak. Okay. And then this has uh, Chinese markings on the bottom. But there's still two more boxes here. I know there's some good stuff in those boxes, so I gotta get digging through those because we've got those, that pile. That's the newest stuff. And so we're falling a little bit behind and I gotta keep on top of it. Otherwise we get buried in it. So um, I gotta get through these boxes and keep it moving. All right, well, I forgot to film a wrap up to that video, but we are back at the house now. It is Ashton's birthday and we are about to sing happy birthday to this kiddo. And um, he already opened his presents. He got this really I'm cool 10. gamer sweatshirt. <laughs> I'm 10. He's 10. We're gonna have his big birthday party this weekend, but we just had dinner and he had a pretty good birthday, right? Maybe. I did. What did you get for your birthday? Did you get a lamp? Heck yeah. A cool lamp. A cool lamp. It changes colors. <laughs> it changes colors. So on that note, I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out Bye. at the shop with us today. And we will see you later. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day. And I've posted a link to that down in the description.